so here is this is a last minute party that Misha dragged us into. What do you think? Nice coffee day. Everybody. The whole town is here. <laughs> What do you think, Misha? I think that since, uh, like, see, I think this is the best one i ever seen in Hawaii for now. I like it even more than Palulu. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's different, but the way it's down there, like, is so massive. Locahi, uh, plantago in English, the plantago plant. I harvested this today in the side from the road, the weed here in Hawaii. And I've been drinking as a part of the cleanse to cleanse the whole body and circulation. It's also very good for the lungs. Yeah, so I just pick up the good leaves and separate the bad leaves over there and be waiting to be ready, dry it up. So 23 days into my cleanse and I've noticed some things. Sobriety is really interesting. Uh, I've made really good gains in my strength and flexibility and my meditation practice is on point. But I'd say that generally I'm not enjoying my life that much. And I've been feeling really angry about what's going on in the world. I haven't been getting along with my mom or my wife. I've been fighting with old friends. And so it's interesting going forward, what's more important, happiness or the self-esteem that I feel about my progress? I guess after 30 days, I'm gonna have to evaluate that and find what's my best path going forward. Find that balance between enjoying your life and doing the things which are best for us. But I guess that's why we do these cleanses, so we can find that middle path and find out a way to evaluate our lives from another standpoint. Here we are again on the Camelot with Captain Robert. And Misha. And it's Saturday. We decided to go for a day, of, a day of fishing. We had such a good time last time. Caught a bunch of fish. So here we are again, and looking forward to another great day on the boat. for a long gun permit. Um, Hawaii is not a pro-gun state, so right now with all the demand, it took me two months to get an application. And um, I made an appointment, I waited, I went in, did my fingerprints and everything, and then it came back. Um, they wanted me to get a medical clearance because I used to have a medical marijuana license for insomnia. So just something you should know, if you have a medical license or if you're thinking about getting one, uh, just realize that in order to get a gun permit, you're gonna have to go and get a psyche valve from a doctor and tell them that you're not a drug addict or that you're not addicted to alcohol or else you won't get a clearance for a gun permit. So something I didn't know, it was an inconvenience, but I got that all done now and I learned something. I've been using this automatic meter, blood pressure cuff, to take my pressure for a while now. 
and I'm always kind of alert, alarmed because um, my blood pressure is kind of high. It's like 130 over 90. And I went to the office, and it's funny, every time I go in the office, they use a manual cuff, and I get a reading of 120 over 70, which is perfect. And he says, oh, your blood pressure is excellent. And then I go home, and I use this cuff, and it's high. He said that these cuffs, this one here I have is what, the Smart Heart Automatic Arm Cuff. He says that they range 10 to 15 points high, so I've been stressing myself out, and actually my blood pressure is great. So that was a relief, felt good about that. And um, I guess I'll just use this one to monitor my range and just subtract 10 or 15. So good news. Hi, beautiful people. I'm here on my 31 days of the cleanse. And I feel great and clean. Uh, it was awesome. I love tea. So that was really nice for me. And... So I've been vegan right, for these 31 days and I want to share with you the food that I most like to eat. I, you probably, if you're being vegan, you probably agree with me. There is avocado and sprouts. I've been eating that in almost all the meals. It is so good. The avocado for me is one of the most dense and rich in nutrients that you can can be so right now we are not in season so i did go in the road hunt for avocado and it's so amazing i love so much and i just remember that i need to buy seeds to sprout too i like the alfalfa sprouts and i vary it there with sometimes i eat with rice and seaweed and sometimes i make a sandwich a gluten-free and vegan bread uh, I still didn't find a good recipe, but soon. <laughs> and I love to do that with sandwich. And I eat that. Oh, it's so good. I love it so much. One of my favorites. I can't wait to have the avocado season. It's almost coming. Another favorite uh, season for me is the mango season. I really can live with just with mango. But... I'm very good with what we have now too. We are now having a lot of pineapples and it's so sweet, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm so grateful for the nature and all what she provides to us. Mm, and also a hard work quite to be nurturing the soil and help with the growth. Nature in, in by our own is very abundant. Here I just go in the road and I find the tree and it's in the ground. If I catch before the animals, really happy. <laughs> so I'm getting ready now to go feed the animals and then preparing for the new moon circle. We have some sisters coming and also going to be doing a Zoom. And I'm very excited to meet you there all. <laughs> I've been studying all day, just my second day of school. And oh, I get so tired to be at the computer. That would be so great to get ready and recharge my energy for the month. Aloha. Hi. I'm going to prepare some food to eat. Um, my favorite avocado sprouts and then I'm gonna cook some mushroom onion really good kitties are you waiting to for eating to eat come on oh yeah yeah I have one flat cat here hmm. excuse me and another cat in here that I love it's so big and fat. So I'm gonna get some tuna for you guys. I know you love that. One of my favorite oils is the avocado oil. And the coconut, of course. But sometimes, uh, because of the taste, I prefer to use
good boys are already feeding. Ah, but you always smell them. Great, great, great cats. Nice to see you. Very shy. It's very strange. Today, even so, because my avocado is almost finished, right? So I just have a little bit of milk. I'm gonna add with good chivari today. I have the mushroom. Yeah, it's very good. Avocado, last one. Because I also not eating sugar. So we had the pineapple season. I cut some pineapple and here. This one is one of the vinegars that is already sitting for kind of three days. And today I saved the skin for this one. And also, I'm gonna Cutting this dragon fruit, that is awesome fruit, right? So I'm yeah, gonna use the skin also for this dinner. You can use any fruit traps, scraps for the vinegar and skin. And then I dissolve with some sugar. Ooh, this pain is different. Some sugar, dissolve some sugar to add. Yeah, so the ratio it is one quarter of sugar for a liter of water. And then gonna cover until it is uh, everything submerged in the water. And gonna sit like this with your uh, uh, ideal cloth that can breathe there for a week. And then I'm gonna strain, gonna strain that all the fruits and. And then just the liquid is going to be also living for two more weeks until that is a good acid that we want to. And yeah, and then I'm going to strain and be ready to use. We've been using a lot of our own vinegar that's been awesome. So here I have a little of water, I think that would be enough. And then I have a little more. If the sugar going to let cool down a little bit and then add on that and cover make a label so we don't forget and we're ready.